What if you could talk to your loved ones even after they die? One Kent County man is working to make that possible with help from virtual reality technology. Starting a business he says is the first of its kind in the entire world. 13 on your side's Nate Bell talked with him today about how it all works. Comes out the side. Christopher Moore first tried virtual reality with a friend's headset. Within a week, I got one myself. At first, it was for playing games, but it became more after his dad, Mike. He was my hero. Got cancer for a second time. He originally recovered. We got another 10 years with him. But that time slipped away quickly until he died last year. Everybody would always like more. Thanks to his headset, he got more. I just wanted to try to find a way that he could leave a message behind for my siblings or my mom to try to help them through the grieving process after he's already passed. Moore's idea, a virtual video recorded before his dad died, letting his family grieve by talking with him. In my video that I have of him, uh, he tells me that he's proud of me and that that alone being able to go back and reflect onto that, um, it's, it's priceless. Now he wants to share that feeling with others. His company, More to Give, will record a loved one with a 360 degree camera saying familiar things. Words of encouragement or moral values or um, old phrases that they would use. In familiar places. It's not a studio. It's not a white room. It's home. Like this video Moore's brother recorded for his kids. When he walks up to the camera, and uh, he starts to leave them their heartfelt message. You guys mean the absolute world to me. It's a feeling Moore says can't be described. If you never have to use it, you never have to use it, but if for some reason you ever had to, I mean, it's, it's priceless. And one he knows his dad is happy to leave behind. I'd like to think that he's proud. Um, I've tried my best for him. In Kent County, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.